Basically, you cannot make the same base number. So you have to take the logarithm on both sides. Um, so I'm going to take the log of 5 to the x power is equal to the log of 52. But the exponent comes to the front. So I have x times the log of 5 is equal to the log of 52. And I'm going to divide both sides by the log of 5. And literally my answer is just going to be gotten through my calculator by taking the log of 52. But I've got to close the parentheses. It's going to give me an open. I've got to close it. Divided by the log of 5. And that's going to give me an x value of 2.4. 550 if they tell me to round to the nearest fourth. Just pay attention to the instructions. Sometimes they say third, sometimes they say fourth. Okay? Um, that's a basic one. Okay? Nothing hard about it. Again, you can take the natural log of both sides if you want. I don't know which you prefer. I just prefer log. That's my um, go to thing. All right. Continuing on here, let's do one of those harder ones. Um, Let's say I have this one. I have 2 raised to the 2x plus 3 power is equal to 3 raised to the 3x power. Now again, I can't make my base numbers the same, which is what we did in the very first section. Can't do it, so therefore I'm going to have to take a log of both sides. So I take the log of 2 raised to the 2x plus 3 power equals the log of 3 raised to the 3x power. Your exponents have to be brought to the front. So I have a 2x plus 3 times the log of 2 is equal to a 3x times the log of 3. Um, I don't have to distribute that one, but I do have to distribute this one. So I've got the log of 2 that I'm going to multiply by both sides. So this is going to be 2x times the log of 2 plus 3 times the log of 2 is equal to 3x times the log of 3. I need my values. I've got an x here. I've got an x here. They have to be on the same side. So I'm going to bring this one over. And I'm going to take this one to the other side. So I have a 2x times the log of 2 minus 3x times the log of 3 is equal to a negative 3 times the log of 2. I'm going to factor out an x here. So I have a 2 times the log of 2 minus 3 times the log of 3 equals negative 3 times the log of 2. Now I'm just doing algebra because this is multiplied by the x, so to solve for the x, I've got to divide. So if you will, x is going to equal negative 3 times the log of 2 divided by 2 times the log of 2 minus 3 times the log of 3. Just make sure you're careful with your parentheses. Okay. Then you should just be able to put that in your calculator and get an answer for it. Negative 3 times the log of 2, close the parentheses, divided by 2 times the log of 2 minus 3 times the log of 3, and you should get um, x is equal to 1.08, well actually it rounds to 890, that's what it rounds to. So what y'all got? Um, Working on it? Let's see. Yes. 
Carol, you good? Okay, let's do another one of those. power is equal to 100 raised to the 2x minus 1 power. Now, before you start this, you can do this the long way, the way that we just did, or you can do it the easy way. Because look at those bases. Is there any way that I can make those have the same base? Turn on the line when it's 10 squared. I can, that's 10 squared, isn't it? Okay. So then I have 10 raised to the x plus 2 is equal to 10 squared raised to the 2x minus 1. Remember, a power raised to a power is multiplied. So this becomes 4x minus 2. So what am I going to do now? Um, just I'm just going to set the exponents equal to each other. So I have x plus 2 is equal to 4x minus 2. Okay, when I subtract, I get a negative 3x. When I subtract there, I get a negative 4. When I divide, I'm going to get 4 thirds. Now, you can do this the other way. You can take the log of both sides and work the way through the same way you did the last problem. But, I don't know why you would want to do that. If you can make the base numbers the same, always check to make sure that the base numbers can be made the same. Okay, um, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, um, then the only other thing that they have in this section, and so basically you're going to get time to do most of your work today. Um, see if you remember how to do this. I showed you how to do that on the calculator. Do you remember how? Sarah, she's got the easy calculator that she can put in there like that. Sam, you're like mine. Do you remember how to do it? This is literally equal to the log of 77 divided by the log of 8. Just put it in your calculator. Now, Sarah, if you can do it a different way, you can do it a different way in your calculator. It's just Sam and I can't. So don't forget to close your parentheses there. Divided by the log of 8 should give you a 2.0889. Is that what you got? Uh, no? I didn't put it in yet. I was writing it down. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That really is all the information from this chapter. So what I'm going to do, you've got tons of time. So what you're going to do... Some of these are tedious in their execution. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to give you your homework. I'm going to have you work on it. Um, then tomorrow, you guys are going to review the chapter. Okay? Um, so this is what I want you to do. I want you to do page 629. And I'm just going to give you the even problems, 14 through 44. Even. Even. 